Sometimes you want to add just a little bit extra pop to your website. I did this today. I'm going to show you how to do it to your websites as well. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button and click on that notification bell. All right, so what you're looking at is a sales funnel I've created on my website and after someone purchases, they're going to go to this thank you page where I'm just saying thank you, but I wanted to add a little bit of extra excitement to it. So I'm going to show you how I did this, but I'm also going to show you how you can add all sorts of animations to your website. And I'm going to answer all the questions you might have about adding animations to your website, including how does it impact performance? So let's talk about the technology that we're we're going to be using in this video and it's a newer technology it's called Lottie. Lottie was created by Airbnb and then they decided to open source it and since then it has spawned all kinds of websites and animators that are doing some really amazing things. Now before you start thinking how much does this cost me I've got some phenomenal news for you you can get these Lottie animations, super professional ones, just like the one I showed you a second ago, and they cost nothing. It's just a few simple steps to add it to your website. Now I know what you're probably thinking right now, is this going to slow down my website? Well, here's a comparison of a Lottie animation compared to other ways of adding some form of movement or animation to your website. And it's comparing a Lottie animation to an animated GIF or a PNG sequence and you can see the Lottie animations are such a, a smaller download when someone visits your web page and you'll be able to see that in some of the Lottie animations that I show you here in a moment. So here is a website uh, called LottieFiles.com links for everything will be in the description down below and you can see free animations that you can easily add to your website. I'm going to show you how to add them to your website, but you can uh, see some of these are some of the popular ones right here. There's also a marketplace you could buy some. I really wasn't looking at those because uh, there's so many free animations here. I don't see myself ever needing to buy one, but you can also do a search right here. And so what I did is I wanted to create sort of a celebratory type of feeling when someone purchases and then ends up on the thank you page. So I typed the word celebrate, which led me to this page right here where I was able to choose one that I wanted. So as I scroll down, uh, let's do a different one than the one I showed you in the beginning of the video. I kind of like this right here. I like how it just kind of pop up, pops up like that. Uh, so I'm going to choose this one. Now when you choose the animation that you want, there's a download button in the top right. Now when you click on that, you're going to see a list of options. You're going to want to choose the Lottie JSON file. Now when you click on this for the first time, it's going to prompt you to create a free account on this website. There's no way around it. I tried. Uh, so so just go ahead and connect it to either your Google or just create an online account. So I just created my account. Actually, I just logged into it. And now when I click on download and go to download the file, you can see in my browser, it's downloaded it to my downloads folder. So now that I have it, it's awesome. But now the challenge is how the heck do we get this on our WordPress websites, more specifically what I'm going to show you in this video, Elementor websites. So if we go right here and we do a search for the word Lottie, this is what comes up. And there are several plugins here to make it easy to get these animations and use them on our website. Now, since Lottie is a newer technology, even though it's super popular, uh, but it's new, you don't see various add-on packages yet including it. I think there's only one paid add-on pack for Elementor that includes Lottie integration. Um, so we're going to use this. Thank goodness we got a free add-on right here and it's very lightweight. It just adds one simple module to Elementor and makes it super easy to add these animations and control how they behave on your website. So this is the one that I downloaded and installed. It's called 
any mentor. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. So here I am on my website to install a plugin. Very simple. You just go to plugins, click on add new, do your search for that. I'll put a link in the video description down below for it though, because it's got a funky name. Uh, but you can see that I've already installed and activated this add on to my website. So like I said, in the beginning of the video, I used cart flows which is a plugin to create sales funnels using any page builder but specifically elementor i use cart flows to create a sales funnel for my website so i'm going to go to cart flows i'm going to click on flows i'll click on add new and there's all these free templates that you could use. I happen to use this one right here and I'll click on import and it's going to download and import an entire sales funnel, uh, landing pages, sales pages, checkout pages, and a thank you page with just one click. Okay. So here I am. I'm going to name my sales funnel. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on update. Now, if you want to learn more about cart flows, uh, it's a free plugin as well. You could go to plugins, add new search for cart flows and you could start using it today, but I'll put a link to a tutorial video down below. Okay. So here's my thank you page step. So what happens is someone is going to opt in to get access to a free course. Then they're going to be taken to a sales page where they can purchase an upgrade. And then right here, they're going to end up on the thank you page. And that's where I want to have this animation happen. So I'll click right here where it says edit. And this is just what you're used to seeing. If you've used Elementor, I'm going to click on edit with Elementor right here. And it's going to take me into the Elementor editor. Now, normally right here, you would see order details, but since I'm not going through an order right this moment, it's not showing me those details, which is fine. Okay. So I want to add that animation and you saw how I did it. Uh, let me actually go back. You could see how I made it just appear right there on the page like that. We're going to try to do that right now. So if you scroll all the way down or do a search for the word Lottie at the top, you're going to see the module that the add on added to Elementor. So you can drag and drop this. I'm going to go ahead and put this right. Actually, I want to put this at the top and I'll show you why in a moment. Okay. So now what we need to do is uh, upload that file that we downloaded. So I'm going to click right here where it says plus and here's some that I was experimenting with, but I'm going to drag and drop over from my computer that file that I downloaded. Now by default, you can't upload these JSON files to the media library. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can't by default. There's certain file types that doesn't let you upload. Maybe you can upload a JSON. Uh, anyways, I've uploaded it. I'm going to click on insert media and you can see there it is. Oh, I love it. Um, okay. So we have that. We have some alignment options and there's some style options there that we'll look at in a moment. Link. I don't know what the heck the links for. Uh, and I'm going to expand right here where it says, animation options. So I can control the speed. I can control it. Does it auto play when I land on the page? I want that. I can control if it loops. So let me actually click on loop so that we can get, get an idea of what it looks like while I'm editing it. it. looks like this one's a really tall one too. Um, that's fine. Okay. So I set that to, I like the speed for this one. Uh, if you want to increase it, you can go up and if you want to go down, you can use a decimal like 0 0.5 if you want to really slow it down. Okay. And you can do reverse and you could do play on mouse over. So for this one, play on mouse over doesn't work. That'd be more if you have an icon and you want someone to hover over it, uh, to have the animation happen. Okay. And there's an option here for a delay. I actually might want to add a small half second delay. Uh, I like that. Okay. So next we have style options right here and this will control the size of the animation. So if I wanted to make it not as big, I can control the width, but for this, I want a full size and you have some typical settings that you're used to with Elementor. So now what you're probably asking is how the heck do you get it to be just over everything like this? And there's a feature in Elementor that's going to enable us to do that. So let me go back. I'm going to click on advanced. I'm going to scroll down here to where it says positioning. And for position, I'm going to choose absolute right here. And you can see there it is. And then 
Now what absolute positioning does is it allows you to take your module and kind of have full layout control and position it wherever you want on the page. So actually I probably should have put the module at the bottom of the page so it appear on the top of everything, but I have a quick fix for that. So if I was to go back and start this tutorial over again, I might put that module on the bottom, but I have a fix, don't worry about it. So I wanna adjust the positioning. And so for me, I want to uh, adjust the vertical, uh, actually the offset right here. So I'm gonna go like this and you see as I move the dial off to the right, the animation goes down the screen, but I actually want it to go up the screen like, like that. That looks kind of cool, I think, right there. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. So actually here, it's set it to 316. Let me just make it an even 300. Perfect. So now I need to get my animation on the top. There's an easy fix for this and it's called Z index. And so if I go up to advanced tab right here, there's a Z index option. So I think if I make this one or two, oh, there we go, make it two, there we go. Now it's on top of the screen. So now when someone visits this page, this animation's going to appear. Now, I probably don't wanna loop it, so the only reason I left the looping on is so that I could tweak it to get it just right. So now I'm gonna go back to content. I'm gonna expand the advanced options again. Uh, I'm going to leave autoplay on. I think the speed's fine, but I'm gonna turn off loops. I just want it to happen the minute they get on this page, and uh, that's good for me. So I'll go ahead and click on update, and I think I like how this is. So let me exit to the dashboard, and now I'm gonna click on this page to see it and experience it exactly like someone would when they land on the page. And then we could tweak it. So here we go, there it is. It's nice and simple. I might maybe slow it down just a tad bit, um, but you can see how easy it is to add these animations. Now, there's a wide variety of animations. This was just one of the animations. You can do searches. Here on the homepage, you can see a variety uh, just on it right here. Now, some of these are gonna be kind of like low quality, but that's okay. You don't have to use it. Um, I, I mean, I don't know who wouldn't want a spinning donut on their website, and you have have that option now with Lottie as well as having some bouncing cheese. Uh, so you could do some really interesting stuff like this. Uh, now they also have paid, where there's a marketplace up here. They have some paid ones, you can buy them in packs. So you would see isometric um, animations or icons like this. So that might interest you and this is just a marketplace where people can create them and add them to it right there. So hey, that's the tutorial. If you found value in this, can you help me? Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and click on that notification bell, but giving this a thumbs up really helps it in the Google's or YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions about Lottie, you can ask me down below. And if you think anyone else could have value in this video, why don't you just copy the URL and paste it in a Facebook group on your Twitter feed or someplace like that. Hey, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.